Steve, right. level of level of nerves for rapid fire, one through ten. Fifteen. I feel like the rapid fire question is going to be, you know, name the most recent Mets sideline reporter, and I'll freeze up. Hey, everybody, welcome to another living room edition of Baseball Night in New York. It's brought to you by your tri state Cadillac dealers, Doug Williams, alongside Anthony Recker, and Steve Gelbs joins the show. And what a show for him to join. We'll get to what we're doing in a second. Steve, how are you doing? How's the cookie club? Seems like you're very excited for this next episode. You were just tweeting oh, about it. I'm very excited for this next episode. I'll, listen, I'll tell you guys right now, I, I won't even, it won't even be a teaser like, hey, you got to watch because something great's going to happen. We took that TikTok video that Pete Alonzo did, and we had Dom Smith and J.D. Davis watch it in real time and react to it, and it was everything that you could hope for and more. I heard and about your chair, chair too. Yeah, you heard about all chair. about your chair. Yes. The antique chair, yes. Yep. Looks like it's made in Norway in 1862, yeah. Perfect. A little recent wreck. You think 1862? <laughs> I'd take that in a heartbeat. Um, okay, so – Here's why today's episode is exciting. We're playing rapid fire. Now, this is uh, our favorite in-studio game. We're doing it for the first time at home, obviously. Uh, it goes without saying, no cheating. Because you guys do have access to your smartphones and your devices and your laptops and your iPads. But, you know, this is so fast. I didn't even think of that think... until you said yeah. it, Doug. I didn't even, I didn't I, even know. I, I, did, I did think of it, but I figured you'd see this. Right. You know? Um, but anyway. Or, so or this. It, it, <laughs> if you're watching for the first time, these are categories where these guys will name names in that category for as long as they can until eventually I will count the last person down and the other person wins. Um, we've never gotten to the very end of a category. I don't foresee that happening today for the first time. No uh, so usually someone just runs out of names and that person loses. So um, our first category, guys, and this is kind of old reliable. We've done this several times to any uh, – very loyal viewers of the show, they may know. Current MLB managers, and Steve Gelbs, we'll begin with you since this is your debut. Current MLB managers. Uh, Tori Lovello. Yes. Luis Rojas. Random, but true. Yes. Random, but true. Joe Madden. Um, Bob Melvin. Yep. Aaron Boone. Yep. Um, let's go with David Ross. Let's yes. go with Surprisingly, Gabe Kaplan. Yep. Terry Francona. Mm hmm Joe Girardi. Yes. Um, hmm. Joe Girardi was my next one. Uh, uh, Don Mattingly. Yep. Dusty Baker. Mm-hmm. Five. Four. Oh Three, my gosh. Stop counting. Two, you just made me really nervous. One. I can't think. <laughs> Steve wins his debut round. I'm not oh man. Man. Guys, thanks that for uh funny. thanks that for was funny. Yeah, yeah. Okay. See you later, Gilbs. <laughs> All right. Next category. Anthony, we'll begin with you here. Mets leadoff hitters since 2010. Anyone who has let off a game for the Mets since 2010. Oh. <clears throat> um, I'm going to go with a Juan Lagares. Brandon Nimmo. Yes. Yes. Uh, Curtis Granderson. Jeff McNeil. Yes, yes. Um, Ahmed Rosario. Yes. Um, Eric Young Jr. Yes. Ruben Tejada. Yes. Five, four, three, two. Michael Conforto. One. Yes. Wow. Way That's to reach the second. There. That was a good one. Um, geez, now I have to come up with one. Um, <laughs> let's go with. I don't even know if he would have or did, but let's go with Kirk Neuenheis. 
Yes. Why not? Really? Yeah, yes. what the heck? Uh, let's, I mean, just because <laughs> I'm just going to take a shot here and say it, stay in the same vein. Matt Dendecker? Yes. Ow. Well done. Yes. Well done. <laughs> Anthony. Um, let's see. Uh, five, four, three, two. John Mayberry one. Jr. Yes. No, he didn't lead off. No, no way. way. He let off. I, I could not wait to the end of this round right. to say, I cannot believe, but John Mayberry Jr. is on here. And of course, Anthony gets it. Steve. Chris Young? Yes. Oh, come on. That's ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> um, let's go with, gosh, who else? Um, five, four, three, two, Robinson one. Robinson No. Steve is 2-0. and oh. This is no. going so much differently than I expected. Let's see how this goes. This is a, a different type of topic. State Capitals. Anthony? Okay, this will be fun. Um, do I have to give the state as well with it? Yeah, you know, might as well. Okay. Um, Olympia, Washington. Wow, nice start. That? Nice uh, start. Uh, Hartford, Connecticut. Yep. Sacramento, California. That was going to be my next one. Albany, New York. Mm -hmm. um, Phoenix, Arizona. Yep. Trenton, New Jersey. Yep. Austin, Texas. Mm -hmm. Mount Pelier, Vermont. Yep. That was in the Cheerios commercial from like a decade ago. <laughs> Lincoln, Nebraska. Yep. Is it a Philadelphia, Pennsylvania? Did we do that yet? You did not. That's not a capital. It's, it's not? not the capital. No, Harrisburg is. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was like, I was you like, did not. I was like, I was like no. I go. <laughs> and I was looking at the P's. Philly's not, not on there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, heck of a first living room edition edition of rapid fire steve you almost had the clean sweep instead you win it two to one but gentlemen that was well done this is a really difficult game in studio it's a really difficult game sitting at home and steve for the first time you've ever played that was that was a good job that good went, job by you that went so much so much differently than i expected congratulations Gilbs. thank you very much anthony that Brecht. seemed so genuine and sincere okay <laughs> Um, time now for the walk-off. Um, here's where we're getting creative for the walk-off today. Um, you both have children. Um, maybe this has to do with them. Maybe it's just you alone late at night. Um, television show or movie that, that is the most embarrassing that you've actually genuinely enjoyed to this point. Steve, we'll begin with you. Easy, easy answer. <laughs> Desperate Housewives. Loved, I mean, it's intoxic loved, intoxicatingly good television. My, my mother used to, she got the DVDs and she used to watch them all the time. And I used to make fun of her. And then I was bored one day. I slipped on the first episode and I, I couldn't stop. That you've, was, just, you've just gone down several notches uh, on my, in my book, Gilbs. I don't know what that's well, worth to you, you Anthony, but you've just gone down several have, notches. Have you watched it? No. My, no. All right. Have you yeah. watched anything embarrassing, Anthony? Um, I mean, I'll call this embarrassing. I watched Tiger King uh, last night for the that first time. Happen. And that was, no, no, no. I didn't even enjoy it. I, I, I got, I didn't even get through the second episode. I don't understand it. What do people like about it? I don't get it. I, I really don't. I don't see it's, it. I don't understand it. Anyway, so, okay, so we'll go. The, I, don't, I don't know what's embarrassing, what other people consider embarrassing. I love watching some cooking shows. Uh, the Great British Baking Show is actually one of my favorite shows. Love that show. All right, guys, but this has been a, a really fun living room edition of Baseball Night in New York. To Anthony Recker, to Steve Gelbs, we appreciate it. We'll see you tomorrow, everybody.